Aloha and welcome to Restaurants Hawaii. I am your host, Cheryl Matsuoka, Hawaii Restaurant Association, also known as HRA, and HRA's Educational Foundation. Today is Tuesday, July 13th, 2021, and it's lunchtime in Hawaii. Ladies and gentlemen, today you'll be meeting two very talented individuals who each receive a $1,500 scholarship from the HRA's Educational Foundation. They were enrolled and graduated in our local high school culinary program, which is a pro-star program that's focused on culinary arts and restaurant management. They were selected from many, many, many applications that were submitted. And today I'm sure you will agree with me with the selection committee as to why these two outstanding future culinary leaders are very, very much deserving of the scholarships. Their ProStart culinary teachers letter, letters of recommendation shared with the selection committee their strong work, work ethic. Cheryl, thank you. Yes, I would like to introduce Gabrielle Kolobong. She is a 2021 graduate of Pearl City High School. And we also have Kenneth Wong, who is a 2021 uh, graduate of Moanalua High School. And, and there actually is one more person who could not attend today. Um, her name is Ashley, and she was also a graduate of Moana Lua. So the Hawaii Restaurant Association Educational Foundation gave out three scholarships, and we're sorry that Ashley couldn't be with us today. So a little bit about um, the Hawaii Restaurant Association Educational Foundation, the National Pro Start Culinary Program and our local high school culinary instructors. They all are working together in preparing our next generation of food service mm -hmm. leaders. So Siobhan, if you could help me and give a little overview for our audience on what the National Pro Start Program in our nine local high schools is all about. Sure, so the um, Pro Start Program is a nationwide two-year program. Um, it's designed to provide culinary techniques and um, all the way down to management skills. It is an industry-driven curriculum. Um, it does provide real-life experience opportunities, and it also helps them build practical skills and a foundation that will last a lifetime. Very nice. So I'm going to ask each of our scholarship awardees to please tell us a little bit about themselves, where you're going to continue your culinary education, and why you're pursuing a uh, culinary career. So can I first start off with Gabrielle? Gabrielle, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're going to continue your education, and why culinary? Yes. Sure, so I'm Gabrielle Kolobong. I'm going to attend Leeward Community College this fall and I'm gonna major in culinary arts. I chose to continue my culinary education because I always loved cooking and baking with my family or for other people. It's very relaxing to me and I know that I will look forward to working in this industry every day. That's awesome, Gabrielle. We look forward to tasting some of your culinary delights. So Kenneth, so can you please tell us a little bit about yourself and where you'll be continuing your education and why culinary? Um, hello, my name is uh, Kenneth. I will be attending um, LCC. And the reason why I chose to pursue culinary is because I'm really into art and I feel like cooking and culinary is the most approachable form of art. And that's why I cho chose to make it my career. That's awesome. Looking forward to t also tasting some of your culinary um, dishes. So for Gabrielle, your teacher shared with the selection committee that you will be an asset to any organization. And I have personally seen her gentle, caring nature, so I can totally see it. Your personal desire to keep and your eagerness to craft food demonstrate you will always be a success 
person in our food service industry. And she made a big point of her person, Gabrielle, who's going to get the job done. So we're really excited to be honoring you with the scholarship. Helen Ken, culinary teacher, said that you um, entered culinary knife competitions and that you received yeah. and that you were given a really, if you were given really complicated culinary techniques, students would just give up and make excuses, but not you. you through the challenges, asking the right questions, and you always look at how to get things done with efficiency. So we're really looking forward to meeting the two of you today. So one of the questions we have um, for the both of you is, can you share with our listeners and followers a little bit about your experience in the Pro Start program? Gabrielle, you want to go first? Sure. So I actually didn't do the two full years like I'm sure Kenneth did, but I did do some of the assignments on the ProStart website for school, and the site was very easy to use for me. There's videos, there's guiding questions throughout the lessons, and just a lot of information about the different segments of the industry. I want to be a pastry chef, so I enjoyed learning about the different levels of being a pastry chef and also the requirements for each level. Very nice. So Kenneth, why don't you share with our listeners and followers a little bit about your experience in the Pro Start program over at uh, Moana Loa. So my experience was brief, but it was very pleasant. And it made it very easy to enter the, um, the contest. And it was overall very, very fun. Yes. Very good, very nice. So Siobhan, do you have any other questions for our two awardees? Um, yeah, you know, if you were to talk to a student um, your age, what would you tell them um, a reason why you think they should join the Pro Start program? Gabrielle, you want to go first? Um. If you're thinking about joining the Pro Start program, I I think you should do it. It's definitely a great learning opportunity. And if you're unsure right now, um, if you want to do culinary as your career, I'm sure the program will help you decide if this is actually what you want to do. Kenneth, um, what would you say to somebody who's interested and inquiring about the ProStart program? I think the ProStart program is a great way to jumpstart your uh, career and it will definitely be helpful with the connections and the knowledge that you will receive. Very nice, very nice. Siobhan, any other questions? Um, I think just one more. What would you say was your most valuable experience to date with the program itself? Gabrielle, you want to go first? I think that culinary overall has definitely helped me improve my skills, not just culinary skills, but also communication skills. So I value the, the knowledge and skills that um, this program has provided me. Very nice. And Kenneth? Uh, the Pro Start program provided me with like financial support, which was very helpful, and and uh, connections were also very helpful as well. Very nice, very nice. Well, you know, whenever you work in the food service industry, and many people, their first job is in the food service industry. I mean, I don't have to tell you even the past a former president of the United States, you know, who's a local boy graduated from Punahou. He started off in the food service industry. Did you folks know that? Baskin and Robbins, scooping ice cream. 
at um, right by around the corner from his school. So a lot of people learn um, their first job is always in food. If, if it's their first job is in food service industry, they learn teamwork. They learn, like you said, Gabrielle, strong communication skills, how to work with others. There's a lot of skills that you'll gain from the food service industry. So that's awesome. Um, Siobhan, any other questions? Um, no, you know, I'm I just, it's exciting to hear their experience in this program. And it's exciting to learn what they've learned throughout the years. And even though it might have been brief, you know, it's given them valuable life skills. And I think we're all excited to see where they go from here. And I'm so excited because at a young age, the two of you already know what you what you want to pursue as a career. So Gabrielle, share with us if there's anything in the world, anything that you could do. And Auntie Cheryl said, whatever you want to be or whatever you want to do, what would that be? I've told my sisters that I want to help the homeless problem in Hawaii. I really want to open my own bakery. So if I succeed in opening my own business. I want to offer jobs to homeless so they can start to build a better life for themselves. Oh, that's so nice. So um, Kenneth, if there's anything in the world, if Auntie Cheryl could grant it for you and what career or what business, what would you like to be? Um, I would like to be a chef because chefs don't only own a business they're part of a community and i think that's very important to support a com to support a community so that's what i would like to do that is awesome well you know at the award presentation it was um the awardees and their families got to come down to the sky waikiki and the owner you all met hide he's the owner of the sky waikiki he's also the past chairman of the hawaii restaurant association educational foundation so he took everybody on the back of the house tour and so we got to we got to um, tour his whole restaurant so G gabrielle you want to tell the audience a little bit about what you saw and what you got out of that whole tour when we went to the back of the kitchen i saw lots of chefs you know prepping for the restaurant to open and seeing all of that happening definitely made this culinary journey very real for me. <laughs> and for me, because I saw them like shucking oysters and prepping, right? We saw all that going on back there. So during the tour, is there something that st stood out for you, Kenneth, when we went to the Sky Back of the House tour? I saw the <clears throat> kitchen and it wasn't as big as I thought and that just showed me that chefs just have to adapt to the the environment that they work in and they can still create great great food exactly right I mean we saw them working you know in in like you said close quarters but yet everybody's at a station right preparing the food and everything so that was that was really great to see and you know it's a great he has a great organization up there and a lot of great employees so for the um, pro start program the restaurateurs who are watching this show, a lot of them are restaurant owners. And, you know, right now everybody's out looking for future talent like the two of you. And so if there's anything you could tell them about what you gained from the Pro Start program that would help, like help you in the future, maybe you could talk about the leadership model. There's a management module in the Pro Start program. I don't know if you folks got to, to um, go through that section, Gabrielle. Um, it's a little hard for me to answer this question because I didn't do that module, but I guess I could say that I definitely improved on my communication 
communication skills and teamwork skills because of you know my culinary classes and this program so i can offer that nice nice gabrielle and kenneth is there anything that you want to say from that module the management module that's part of the pro start curriculum um i'm not too familiar with that module but i will say pro start as a whole has made me exit my comfort zone and as a whole person i improved because of that nice very nice gosh you know the food service industry is looking forward to the two of you you know contributing and we know that you folks will be successful in whatever part of the food service industry that you decide to be on you know right now as i walk through waikiki you know we were all down there together you all saw how busy it is so a lot of people are back in waikiki again and all the restaurants you know they're all looking for employees and and help right now so in parting, in parting um, statement, Siobhan, is there anything else that we, that I didn't cover? Cause I wanted to be sure that I went through all of our questions. Um, I did want to ask a question in regards to, I don't know if either um, Kenneth or Gabrielle had a chance, but part of the pro start program because of the pandemic, right? Made a lot of, um, everybody had to go to online learning um, and the, um, Hawaii Restaurant Association Educational Foundation was able to put on the Mad Skills Challenge, which we have featured before. Um, just curious if either of you had a chance to participate in that challenge, and if you did, um, if there was something about that challenge that stood out to you. Gabriella, are you familiar? Um, I didn't do the pro the Mass start challenge. Um, I did not get to to par participate in that either. Well, maybe you can let all your friends know for next year if you have friends left over there um, to keep an eye out for that challenge. It was really fun for a lot of the students, um, you know, so too bad you guys missed it, but we're still very happy that you guys are in the path that you're going on. Yes, the, and you know, we have lots of, um, in culinary, right, it's, it's a lot of um, different modules, training. So Kenneth, like you did the knife skills, and that's also part of the pro start right the the knife skills is part of the pro start program you want to touch on a little bit about that um it's a great way to um i guess improve your prepping skills because every chef begins as a prep cook pretty much so it's just really good to kickstart your journey with i, I would say Nice, nice. And then I have a question from the audience, a viewer question, because as you know, we're live on Think Tech Hawaii. Um, what is your favorite food or cuisine to cook? Gabrielle? Um, I'm not sure what cuisine, but definitely my favorite thing that I have made was croissants. It, was hard because it was my first time, but the process was very, I guess, relaxing and interesting to me. Very nice. And so, um, Kenneth, so the question is your favorite food or cuisine to cook? Um, I don't really have a favorite, but I guess just food I create from my family is my favorite because you should always feed your loved ones. Oh, that's true. That's so true. So if there was a type of um, cuisine, whether it's Chinese or Japanese or Hawaiian, like what kind of cuisine um, do you make your family, um, Kenneth? Um, I think most of the time Asian and like, I guess, more European type of food. Nice, nice. And Gabriel, when you cook for your family, what type of croissant is French, right? Um, I don't cook French, um, like, dinners, I guess. I'm 
for dinner, I usually make like local dishes or like Kenneth, I like to cook Asian dishes. Nice, nice, nice. So, you know, right now it's so popular, you know, you have those food celebrities, those food chef celebrities and those chefs on TV. Who do you follow, Gabriel? To be honest, I don't really watch TV, but I watch um, Tasty, BuzzFeed Tasty, and I like to follow the recipes. Nice. I follow Tasty also. Do you follow anyone, Kenneth? Um, <clears throat> um, I follow a lot of local chefs. I think they're really um interesting and a breath of fresh air compared to the rest uh some of them are mark no gucci and um sheldon uh, simeon and yeah just nice. just just to name a few nice no i follow them too um you know so yes and they're great guys they do so much for the industry too um, let's see, is there any other questions coming from the viewers? Siobhan, you have any questions while I look at the chat? Nope, I think they answered um, all of our questions and gave us a good overview of not only what the ProStart program is, but um, an overview on where we might be able to find them next. Absolutely. So, Gabriel, before we close the show, is there anything else that you want to share about yourself? And, um, you know, we know you're going to have a bakery and I can see you cooking food, bake, baking food for a homeless and teaching them a vocation, you know, because that's part of it. So is there anything else you want to share about yourself or your future desires so that our audience will know a little bit about you? I just want to say thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm really excited to continue my culinary education. And, you know, I hope, you know, if my family sees this, I hope I made you guys proud. Oh, well, we're going to keep in touch, okay? Like I said, you know, even though this, we just met each other and we just started the journey, we want to follow what you're doing and what you're up to in the next few years. And um, Auntie's so proud of you. So, dear Kenneth, is there anything as we close off this show that you want to share with, the, with our viewers and listeners? Um, I don't really have much to share about myself, but I just want to say I'm very thankful for the Pro Start uh, program. It has really been helpful to jumpstart my career. So, thank you. Thank you so much. Siobhan, you want to just um, wrap up a little bit about the Pro Start and what's going to happen next, some of the events and things that we have? Sure. Um, so, our Pro Start program, we're always looking for um, more schools to join. Um, the more schools that we have, the more awareness there is to this program and how important it is to our um, future workforce. And a um, couple of events that we do have coming up are, um, we do have an annual uh, chili cook-off. And that one will be coming up in March of 2022. Um, so keep an eye out for that. We did have our first one back in 2020, right before the pandemic. We had a really great turnout with some great chefs and uh, four of our local high schools were able to participate and everybody um, got a chance to, uh, see whose chili was the best. Um, so really looking forward to that next event. That's awesome. And if anyone, any of the viewers um, is interested in the Hawaii Restaurant Association Educational Foundation, they can send an email to info, I-N-F-O at H-R-A-E-F dot O-R-G. And, you know, we're always looking for people who went to volunteer. We had a food box distribution where we gifted out 300 food boxes. We're always looking for events to come attend so that we can get more information out about our culinary program. We're always interested in talking to other high schools that are interested in implementing this program as you know, many, many, many um, students are interested in culinary 
and we're always interested in, in learning of how we can partner with other businesses and organizations. So um, is there anything else people that we should talk about before we close up? I need to check in with Eric. I don't, because I don't know where Eric went. <laughs> so I'm going to keep talking, Eric, okay? Okay, so Eric is saying yes, he just messaged me. So with that, again, thank you everyone for attending. Gabrielle and Kenneth, congratulations. So deserving, so proud of you. And we look forward to being in touch in the next few years and following your culinary careers. Thank you, everyone. Hi, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Gabriel.